Hey, my beautiful love bugs. Welcome to Relictor with Renee. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Here to give you a general reading for the collective of signs, someone rising Venus North Node, wherever your major placements may fall. Here to provide you with what's going on in your current energy. Um, <clears throat> current energy, I feel very strong is confusion so let's see why <laughs> the confusion is here only paper, only paper resonates and leave the rest if it doesn't fit you must have quit so if you guys have been rocking with me you know my model don't um try to make it stick okay so only take pieces of the uh whatever resonates with you guys the energy is interchangeable reversible uh, you could be them, they, them could be you. Um, when I uh, read the tarot, as well as the oracle decks, um, here, okay. But I am going to start collective with the energy oracle, so I just want to see what is going on and why is confusion here in this situation. Divine Spirit, Holy Spirit, give me messages. Beyond the white light of tarot, the oracle, and the intuitive deck for the collective highest good. This is an all signs reading. Mm. The temple, the temple path woman holding heart on the split. Let's give me messages, spirit. Ooh, the spirit is gossiping. I feel like there's a lot that um is transpiring or whatever, and um. It's like something is shifting in in our energy is what I'm getting energetically. Third chakra, Archangel Cameo. Uh, when it comes to someone's solar plexus, um, uh, in a contract here, okay? 37 bust down to a 10, 6, 2, a 3, okay? Somebody could be in a spiritual contract or there's a, a marital contract. Take it out. Resonates as I have to. Yeah, woman holding a coin here. All right. Somebody is... Mm, something going on with somebody's gut feeling about something. When it comes to going into a contract, a woman holding a coin. Pinnacle here. 42 bust down with 6. We got two sixes and a 10. 10 bust down to a 5, 6, or 3. It's like um, there's something, something... It could be about someone's job as well. Six shock or Archangel Metatron is also about someone's intuition. Um, our third eye chakra is like this inner knowing. Okay. The garden, uh, the garden and the gate. Okay. So it's like somebody, somebody has some inner knowing about a contract. Um, could be a, a, about a woman holding the coin or you're this woman holding the coin. Ticket Heart Resonates. Welcome, Archangel uh, Cameo and uh, Metatron. Welcome to the reading. Uh, 40 bust down to four um, as well. You could be 40, 42, 37, 6. Any of these numbers could resonate with you in some capacity. Let's see why the energy is here, okay? Because there is maybe some confusion about a contract or what should we should what we should be doing, um, or something is just not feeling like right with the uh, uh, sixth chakra here. That third eye chakra is like you you have some inner knowing. Um, this could be about a queen of pentacles or whatever. Somebody is in a nine of swords. Yeah. Mm. I, when it comes to their, their gut feeling and there's a lot of regrets. It feels like a missed opportunity when it comes to a contract as well. Who is the woman holding the coin? Give it to me, spirit. Oh, two fell out. Three of cups to the king of wands. Third party energy here. Thank you very much. Yeah, somebody is not... Someone has this inner knowing that there is a third party energy here possibly interfering with the contract. And it has this possibly first first uh king out is the king of wands, Leo Aries Sagittarius energy. Or this could be um this king of wands wanting to come into some type of union or celebration with a woman holding a coin. Take it out resonates, but I don't get that energy the strongest. I get that there's a king of wands, or there's some there's could be there could be stress around a king of wands, or this king of wands is in some type of distress. Or why is 
why is this here? Give it to me for Metatron. Give it to me. Yeah, three of swords when it comes to a ten of cups. Hmm. It's like somebody's reliving some type of past trauma. And it's like... It's, it's coming to some type of heartbreak when it comes, comes to complete wish fulfillment with the Ten of Cups here. So why is this energy here? Yeah, there's like confusion. I feel there is confusion around this situation with the Nine of Swords being here. There's like some type of... Of distress there's there is there's a mental distress somebody is having sleepless nights somebody is like constantly thinking about something somebody is seeing something whatever this contract is is like a loss of a contract with the five of cups here dealing with the king of wands and a woman holding a coin okay um why is this energy here or maybe this hmm give me messages for it Thank you. Hermit. Somebody's really going deep. Um, so searching with the hermit card here, Virgo energy, nine of swords. I feel like somebody maybe over is overthinking a situation when it comes to their their root chakra, their their you know what I'm saying? Like Oh, there's solar plexus. It's like something about someone's emotions. Thank you, spirit. It's like somebody is in distress about their emotions. Why is the five of cups here off the top? Death. Because something is coming to an end or it's a necessary ending when it comes to a contract. Unfortunately, uh, why is the king of wands to a swords? It's like somebody you know, is making some type of decision. It could be this king of wands to, um, yeah, devil. This like, mm -hmm. yeah, hangman. Somebody gets in stuck energy. So somebody, oh, oof. somebody is in uh, distorted energy here. This king of wands is in deep distorted energy when it comes to this woman holding a coin now the uh this this could be someone who they could be building something with but something within the contract is false okay something within this within this contract is false and it's coming out with the the two of swords to the devil it's like either you or this person could be cutting off a situation um, due to their, it's like somebody is in some type of mental distress. It's like somebody is going like, so, like they're searching for answers, searching for, it's just like somebody could be in isolation, just overthinking a situation. Why is the two of swords and the devil here? Capricorn energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy here. The moon, too many hidden secrets here. And this is what's keeping someone stuck. With the Three of Swords to the Ten of Cups Hangman, it's like somebody keeps creating illusions to a situation due to their own distorted way of thinking. Thank you. Six of Pentacles. Okay. Hierophant Taurus Energy. Give me more. Two of Cups. Mm-hmm. King of Pentacles is okay. <laughs> exactly. Because I, I got to show you. You know, Auntie is from the show me state. I could show you guys better than I could ever tell you. Okay. Someone really wants a higher level of commitment with someone. Two of Cups. I can't make it up. Two of Pentacles. The Hierophant. Two of Cups. To the King of Pentacles. So there's two. So I'm getting two kings here. But um, is is this the same energy? Is the King of Pentacles and the uh the is the King of Wands and the King of Pentacles the same energy spirit? Okay, yeah, yeah. It's like th there's a stagnant routine that needs to come to rest. The world and a new journey needs to begin. I'm getting the energy of somebody is like self-sabotaging a situation 
due to their own deception. With the devil card here falling on the king of wands to the two of swords here. It's like someone can't get get past um, a situation in order to have forward movement. And I feel like somebody is not being honest in a situation with the moon card being here. Piscean energy, you could be dealing with the Pisces, don't have to be, or a cancer with the hangman energy here. Someone is someone is causing self-imposed um this self-deceit when it comes to overthinking. It's like someone's obsessing over a coming into union with someone, but it's how they're going about it is it's it's a false narrative, is what I'm getting. It's just like because on one hand, and it's giving very confusing inf uh information, uh energy to be honest because in one hand it's like somebody could have wanted a rebirth in a situation only i say that because we have the three of cups here and the three of cups could be many things so i'm getting multiple energies on this three of cups too i feel like there is third party interference here uh, but there is or you could be the one who's wanting to cut someone off. Yeah, because it's ending in a ten of swords. You see, that's deep anguish. Like somebody's... um, Oh, what am I trying to say here? Somebody's route to get answers for a situation with regards to a contract or forward movement is not going in the way that they anticipated it to go. It's like somebody can't get past their own, out of their own way. Thank you, Spirit, with the Ten of Swords. Yeah, in order to have a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles and invest in something new. This is Karmic Justice uh, with, uh, the, <laughs> with the Justice card Libra energy. Somebody is in deep anguish. Um, this is fair judgment when it comes to taking, yeah, having this Leap of Faith forward. Eight of Wands, okay? It's just like something is moving rather quickly when it comes to this empress. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. It's just like somebody wants to communicate having forward movement um, and moving to calmer waters with the empress, Libra, uh, Libra Taurus energy. Um, but it's becoming very burdensome to this emperor. Okay. And they, and it's giving something is like, being, they feel like it's like fear about something being unrequited when it comes to this emperor. Yeah, with the Queen of Cups. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Temperance, Sagittarian Energy with the Queen of Wands. Three of Pentacles. And the Chariot. Knight of Cups. Somebody's not being honest. Eight of uh, Eight of Pentacles. And they're holding, the, yeah, holding on tight, but it's how they're doing. Something is being done. It's not, yeah, six of six of wands to the ace of cups. Okay, followed by the ace of wands. I feel like something will have forward movement, but it's like it's almost like a tower needs to happen before forward movement can begin. If that makes sense, I'm just gonna set these just like this. Okay. With the temperance to the ace of wands, it's like somebody actually wants to heal something with the temperance card, Sagittarian energy, Leo Esther, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy, Aries energy with the queen of wands is what I'm getting the strongest here. Um, you can have Aries in your chart, uh, Sagittarius in your chart. Um, three of pentacles uh, with Capricorn in your chart. It's like somebody does want to work together and collaborate with someone. And and somebody wants to overcome some type of challenges in a in a situation like there's there's someone in this energy who has strong attraction is all all of the like not all of the kings but you got the king of wands the emperor and uh the uh knight of pentacles here this is all energy so only take what resonates again this is like this is a heavy burden for 
this emperor at this time um, to have some type of forward movement because it's like somebody's being arrogant in a situation is what I'm also getting when it comes to a queen of cups. It's almost like taking this person's um, kindness for weakness and to an extent. Somebody who wants to be expressive with the Eight of Wands energy that also came out as well um, about their feelings. But when they, it's like when they go to be expressive about how they really feel about a situation, they, it comes off like they're, they, they come off like they're rejecting a Queen of Cups love when in actuality, they really want to heal something and be in healing energy with this Queen of Wands. It's like somebody is really attracted to this uh, Queen of Wands and argue with your mother. The Knight of Cups is here and it clearly states flowing attraction. There is flowing attraction here. Everything about the connection is flowing attraction. However, someone stuck in this energy with secrets. It's like about their emotions as well with the moon card being here and it's like someone it's almost like a person doesn't want to be seen for what they really feel if that makes sense and i'm getting that energy of projection here i really do because on one hand, like this person wants to work it out or work something out with this Empress energy. And I know this to be true because we do have the Eight of Wands. This is fast communication. Um, this is like somebody is like, because if somebody wants to know how could they move to the next level with this Empress. But it's something, it's something in the way this person is communicating that's not coming out the way it needs to be communicated. It's almost giving like, instead of this person coming, being direct with someone, they're, they're looking for a swift, uh, swift, like some type of swift, um, or requited response. Thank you. I didn't mean to say swift, some type of requited response. And it's almost like I'm getting the energy of with the devil card being here in the twister. It's just like they're not exactly getting what they want in a situation, which is also what's causing an ending. Five of Cups. It's not in the ending is because of their approach, not because of what's being said. Do you if that makes sense? Eight of Pentacles to the Four of Pentacles. It's like somebody is holding on tight to a situation, but they're also causing a tower moment because they're creating illusions where there should not be in order to feel like they're on top with the Six of Wands as um in this love connection. Eight of Ace of Cups. Hmm. Somebody, yeah, somebody's not being truthful. Seven of Swords energy here. I'm going to reshuffle these. I'm pulling up on the energy. It's like, okay. Hmm. Somebody, okay. Whoever this King of Wands energy is, it could be any sign, but they're coming out as a King of Wands. This is somebody who's very like, big one being on top of their game and everything that comes with them comes with accolades or being um seen as the best or whatever i feel like somebody is going out of their way to create um some type of opportunity uh for, uh, for maybe this woman who's already holding a coin and maybe trying to meet them at where they are but it's almost giving also the energy of someone bidding on their monkey chest at the same time. Just take it how it resonates. I'm going to just set these right here. I'm going to um, reshuffle these. I'm also going to pull from another energy as well. I'm going to pull from, I mean, from another energy, from another deck. Someone... Also, I'm getting the energy of someone wants to be in control and they want to have power over a situation. And, but it's also someone not being really sure of themselves. I'm going to just keep it up. 
Somebody is not really sure of themselves. Which is why, yeah, with the hangman, the three of pentacles. Emperor, three of pentacles. On the split, I'm just looking at the split. We're going to get down to the bottom of the collective. This is weird energy. It's, it's almost contradicting Empress. Why is the Empress here? In the reverse. She's in the reverse. Empress in the reverse. Moving out of the home. Leaving petty arguments, disagreements. Yeah. This Empress is not... That's, that's why you're beating on your monkey chest. Thank you, Spirit. This Empress is in... She's in the upright. But the Four of Wands is in the... Re, it's in the reverse. Okay. She's she not she don't have no interest in arguing with nobody about nothing. It, I just can't make this shit up. I just need y'all to really see what it is. Whoever this Libra Taurus energy is, take it out. Resonates. You could be a Libra. You could be a Taurus. Is moving out of a home or leaving some type of petty argument situation disagreement right where it's at. She has no interest. It's so funny. I shuffled, and that's where she is. She's not interested in petty arguments about. An emperor, king of wands, king, king of pentacles, whoever, who's um, in in distorted energy within themselves. Thank you, spirit. Ten of swords. Yeah, this is. It's like because this is. It's not. It's beyond the heavy. It's like there's like some deep rooted. Um, she's in this energy. This empress is in this energy because there's deep rooted trauma here. Right, there's some deep rooted mental anguish and um and betrayal that she feels, what makes her not want to be a part of whatever this you know this union is. You this empress could um you could be in a you could be the empress that could be the empress with the roles. I'm just saying this is the energy and it's coming out very strong. She's at the moment guarded and she's not interested in petty arguments or disagreements about something. Um, that's clearly untrue. It's, 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 there's a deep betrayal here. Uh, it's, or some type of deep mental anguish. Take it out. Resonates. I feel, what's the, what's the ten of swords? Are they, are she feels betrayed by someone in their actions and how they're acting. Page of pentacles, especially over a page of pentacles. Yeah. It's like somebody is in a breadcrumbing energy, but, or maybe she felt breadcrumbed. This empress felt, not maybe, she did. She felt breadcrumbed in this situation um, and is going towards, I could have wanted, uh, what, let me not speak because I, I know what I want to say, but I just, I just want the cards to speak for themselves right now. Three of wands. Yeah. It's like she wanted she wanted a new opportunity to have forward movement with someone. And you know what I'm saying? Have, you know, wanted wanting someone who's gonna come towards her in a, a mature way. Um, you know what I'm saying? But instead, this the whatever the energy that's whoever's in her energy is coming on very immature and is giving that someone still has some growing to do. Thank you, spirit. With the page of pentacles, because you could be dealing with the page energy who's kind of like stuck in some type of deep mental anguish. Or whatever and and maybe it's possibly have been taking this empress in uh down that rabbit hole as well and she's not interested anymore if she was interested in one time because the four of wands in, in the upright is um about family reunion deep desire for uh marriage and higher level of commitment but she's not interested in that anymore She's moving, she's moving away from a person, that energy due to, it's like, it's constant betrayal in this energy, constant breadcrumbing, um, gaslighting is what I'm getting. And it's, it could have been, um, you know, she thought she was going to grow, uh, a situation with someone in some way when it, with page of pentacles is more like, you know, um, building something new 
like a new offer of money and and all of that or there was some type of growth and expansion but somebody in the energy is breadcrumbing like they're not somebody is showing that they they haven't grown as much as they need to there's still a page okay all they have to offer is page energy they don't really they want to come towards this empress but they're coming in page energy and but it's 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 still in mental distress or some type of betrayal give me more it's like they're not coming in as themselves yeah it's five of cups five of cups to the temperance yeah when it comes to healing something it's just like this is this could be a missed opportunity uh definitely with the sagittarius energy doesn't have to be five of cups temperance um self-control it's just like Somebody needs to have self-control. Two of cups. Yeah, when it comes to a love situation as well. Um, some type of partnership. Five of pentacles. It's like she's leaving whatever this energy is out in the cold. Seven of wands. It's too much uh, to defensive energy. And it's like she's protecting herself. It's like, it's, it's like something in her is telling her to defend herself against this. Uh, this, uh, this partnership or it could, and the two of cups could be a friendship or whatever, but it, with the five, yeah, seven of wands or the five of pentacles, it's like something here is like, it's like, it's like, it's too, it's too much chaos here with the seven of wands. It's like a lot of defensive energy. It's like she maybe, she feels like she has to defend herself against this energy, okay? Where there should be healing, love, you know, and all of that growth and expansion. There's petty arguments and disagreements and um, someone is like always, it's like someone is stuck in a 10 of swords energy. Why is this energy here? Seven of swords, because somebody's not being honest. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Somebody is stuck in this Ten of Swords injury because they're not being honest. Seven of Swords. Somebody is not being honest. It's like deep deception, betrayal. Somebody is like wearing a false mask. Somebody is self-sabotaging the connection. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Give it to me, Spirit. Will of Fortune. This is faded. Knight of Cups. Yeah. The Sun. It's like somebody doesn't even realize that there it's like whoever this Knight of Cups energy is, okay, it's being illuminated that there's deeper feelings of when someone is letting on, but it's like it's it's almost giving me like it's a not almost it is, it's giving me the energy that it's a missed opportunity to heal something in a, a romantic way. Or if not romantic in any type of way, because someone is not being honest about their feelings. And it's not this empress. The empress is energy for the, when it comes to the four of wands, it's in reverse. Somebody is like, she's moving away from this energy because someone continues to take them down a deep rabbit hole. And it's, it's making, and it's like, they're coming off defensive when in, in actuality, it's really no need. It's like somebody is doing some type of self-imposed um, betrayal to, uh, almost to themselves. Why is this energy here? Emperor. Thank you. Don't play with me. Play with your mother. When it comes to this emperor, Aries energy. It could be any sign in body and the uh, emperor energy, the fool. Wow. And those fell. These three fell out. Do I want to take on spirit? Yeah, strength, page of wands, two of wands. It's just like someone wants the courage to have forward movement and speak some type and, and, and possibly uh, speak some type of truth, some type of good news or whatever young energy here. Could be done with a young fire sign. It's like they're trying to gain the courage to have forward movement. And th yeah, this emperor, Aries energy, that's fire sign, want to take a leap of faith, but it's coming with deception here. This could be past energy, current energy, or whatever. It's like somebody needed to come, grow up from a page to... It's like someone's... Grow, it's like I do get the energy of someone is trying to grow from this page energy. 
then you get the Knight of Cups, and then you get the Emperor. It's like somebody is trying to step into their power, but at the same time, they're they're not being quite honest as well. It's like so with the Emperor energy here is also I feel like someone wants to take control of a situation as well because you know the Emperor holds power right full card you know uh, occurring energy as well it's like somebody definitely wants to take a leap of faith in a new in a new direction and have forward movement somebody is really trying to gain the courage but i feel like it's lacking it with the ten of swords and the seven of swords here right yeah eight of pentacles yeah to the six of cups it's like somebody wants to work hard to you know to reunite with some someone i feel like whoever this energy this in because it could be the emperor take it out as a yeah death and reverse destroyed hope feeling stuck energy yeah it's like somebody who had in this because it's falling after the this emperor took out resonates someone had hope you know at one point to work together and reunite with this person and have forward movement but it's giving the energy it's like somebody feels like they're in stuck energy and and their and their hopes of you know having forward movement is completely destroyed and it's all because of someone not being honest being deceptive wearing a false mask about how they truly feel knight of cups energy very this masculine energy here it's like there's someone who has you know, it's been illuminated that someone deeply has romantic feelings and the emperor came out or whatever. And and this emperor wants to take this leap of faith or whatever and have forward movement, forward movement. But here, over here in the empress's energy, she's she's feeling like this is at a loss because even though there could be healing coming in, in place and a partnership could be forming, it's like it's seeming like you have she would have to leave this out in the cold because there's so much uh defensive energy in this connection and, and there's the energy it's like someone someone feels like they have to protect themselves it could be this empress yeah that's the energy that came out on that on that line first ace of pentacles why is the ace of pentacles here you guys could have money coming on the way or it's, it's, it's like somebody wants a new beginning. It's like somebody's manifesting a new beginning with the Ace of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and they want to lay something to rest. Ten of Pentacles. Somebody wants to create a fine, a, you know, long term ge uh, generational wealth, financial abundance here. But there's a discord, there's a disconnect here. King of Pentacles. Yeah. This King of Pentacles really does want to invest, but someone's not being honest <laughs> in a situation. It's like someone is self-sabotaging a connection because of how they're moving. Eight of Cups. It's either stuck or stagnant or somebody wants to walk away. Why is this energy here? Oof. Give me the flipper. Page of Cups. There's lots of love here. There's lots of love here in this connection, but it's like somebody can't get something off of the ground because it's like they're hiding behind their true feelings. I also get the energy of somebody is really working to build something, to collaborate, to work together with someone, but um, it's like someone can't get out of this this stuck energy about the way they think. They're, they're, um, the way they um, view... Um, relationships partnerships and things like that and it's giving off a lot of projection why is this energy here yeah somebody's being fair unfair yeah justice in the reverse with the three of cups yeah third party energy here somebody is being dishonest and unfair in a decision uh, when it um that they're making and it could be due to a a, a third party energy why is this here? Don't play with me, play with your mother, hangman, who's keeping them stuck in this stuck energy. Someone can't be honest because of a third party. So it's like, and it's making the empress reject any type of offer when it comes to um, 
moving forward in a connection. It's like an energetic knowing. What's on the bottom of the deck? Yeah. When it comes to um, this passionate new beginning. It's like, so, yeah, and the devil. Somebody could be uh, definitely thinking with their wand. Somebody has deep rooted emotions for someone, but it's causing a tower. Because, yeah, this is the truth. Somebody's gaining truth of and truth and clarity about someone's um, decision or the decisions that they're making. Someone's causing a lot of distress to a connection when it comes to forward movement and having a brand new um, passionate beginning. As somebody's learning the truth and it's causing a tower. And I feel like, okay. <laughs> With the Two of Pentacles, the uh, the King of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, yeah, somebody is deeply in their head. Exactly. Anxiety, mental distress. Somebody is under deep mental distress. Two of Pentacles to the King of Swords. It's just like there is someone who's very highly intellectual here and some of the Pentacles. And somebody is having a difficult time overcoming um, challenges and obstacles when it comes to this for movement. It's like somebody felt like they, it's like somebody is causing their, causing delays due to their own mental distress. It's like somebody can't get out of their own way. I can't express that enough. With the queen of wands, knight of wands, like, but it's like 10 of cups. Like there's a lot of love here on the board. Somebody who feels, sees this queen of wands energy. You could be the queen of wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or this person could have that in their chart. It's very beautiful. And this person like has deep passion and de does want a, a happy family or whatever, which technically they could have because collaboration is here. For it, movement was here, but it's like as soon as they get close to it, somebody does something to sabotage the Ace of Cups, Knight of Swords, because of the, something, somebody moving impulsively in this situation. It's like something is like maybe not coming in fast enough. Um, or maybe someone feels like something can't come in fast enough. High Priestess Energy, Hierophant, yeah, Three of Wands, King of Wands. King of Cups, who has deep emotions. Taurus energy, it's like there's discord here. There's a lot of discord here. King of Wands, King of Cups. This King of Wands it has deep emotional uh uh, feelings for someone. It's just like, this is someone who's very uh, supportive. They want to be supportive or whatever, but it's just like this, this person is, uh, thank you. They're causing their own heartbreak, Hierophant. And it could be due to them, you know, needing to learn more lessons. Two of swords, judgment. Something is being cut off. Six of Wands to the Knight of Pentacles. It's like somebody was moving. Somebody was being was being very patient and strategic to have victory and success with the Queen of Cups. Um, but it came with it's like somebody kept putting themselves in self um imposed uh, doubt, conflict. You get what I'm saying? It's like whoever this energy is, it's like they were moving slow and they wanted, they were moving slow towards this queen of cups, but they were in our head. It's like the, whoever this energy is, it's like very doubtful that they could obtain whoever this empress is. And instead of being honest, okay, in a situation, they chose to not be honest and, and hold secrets Um, when it comes to this empress. And she turn she kind of turned her back on the situation she she has no desire to move forward in this situation because of how somebody is moving towards them um to you know to even um have any type of romantic forward movement yeah ten of wands it's too much of a heavy burden yeah when it comes to this queen of cups this is too much of a heavy burden she's you know 
she's, yeah, it's like, she's in the middle of all of this chaos, okay? Eight of Wands, Sagittarian Energy. Somebody, it's like, somebody went out of their way to, it's like somebody researched wrong. It's like, you know that, that saying, you study long, you study wrong, or whatever. And somebody, somebody, this was somebody's real true wish fulfillment with the Aquarian, uh, Aquarius energy here, Star of Four Cups, but it became um, unrequited because there's too much conflict, too many conflicts. And remember when in the beginning of the reading, I said, there's, um, there's too much confusion, five of wands, obstacles, challenges, conflicts, it's competition. Uh, it's like somebody's doing something out of a competitive sport <laughs> with the five of swords. It's like constant you know, constant fighting when it comes to like moving forward and wish fulfillment. It's like somebody, somebody is in some really deep mental anguish and it's all a self-imposed energy here that kind of turned this empress off. I'm just going to keep it a book. She has no desire. These were the first cards out. She's moving out. She's of the home, leaving petty arguments and disagreements. It's not worth it to her. It's it's like the, as much love as there there is here, it's like somebody can get out of their own way. It's like whoever this King of Swords energy, uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy doesn't have to be these signs with King of Swords. It's like this person is highly intellectual or whatever. And it's like any type of mental distress that's bought onto this this empress she's in the upright by the way she's not interested in in going through any of that okay if if she has to argue with you to be in peace you know to for for any reason not even, i'm not arguing to try to be in peace with anyone who's it's like because it's too much confusion it's like someone treated someone unfairly in a situation it's like almost Ooh, someone literally tried to impose their energy onto this empress, but, but doing it by causing petty fights that weren't never warranted. And it's all because someone has deep rooted feelings. This Knight of Cups, this is masculine energy with the sun card here. It's being illuminated. It's just like the, tr the truth of the matter is, it's like. Someone does make someone happy in this situation, but it's like they don't want them to know that. It's weird energy. Very much weird. All because someone is trying to gain the courage, uh, you know, to, to come towards this person. But here's the thing. It's no courage really to be gained because it's unconditional love. I feel like with the Empress being in the upright, thank God she fell out in the upright. She she carries unconditional love. And there's no need to be defensive towards her. There's no need to um to question her um st mental stability when it comes to her intentions towards a situation or towards you or take it out resonates or to them, you, them flip the roles. Mm. it's like someone is like really getting in their way at, on, in their own way when it comes to a connection the tower well of fortune it's like this this is really faded this is faded like it's just supposed to happen because someone is like not learning lessons someone keeps repeating past energy past yeah, past whatever the energy was in the past, someone keeps repeating that and they're bringing it into a new cycle where that's no longer the energy, if that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, I keep seeing the tower. Four of Cups. Yeah, it's like no longer requi required. If it was one if it was once required, it's no longer required. Yeah, because thank you, spirit with the five of swords i can't make it up when it comes to collaborating with this person having forward movement three of pentacles yeah 
Somebody could no longer want to put the effort, energy and effort into a situation because of, or you know what I'm saying? So, you know, the way somebody is just moving, it could be three, it, it could be multiple people in this energy with you collective. Take it out, resonates. But I feel like this, there was support here. You guys could have been working with this person as well with the Three of Pentacles or whatever. But something is bringing a tower to the whole situation because of someone's... Um, it's like somebody is completely intimidated by this person. And I thought, I feel also too like... And, it, and the intimidation is what's causing the deception. Take it out, resonates. It's like somebody is so hell-bent on winning a situation. Winning a, winning at all costs in a situation it's like almost giving like someone has to control a situation but it's being very but the way things are going is causing chaos it's like somebody is causing a lot of unnecessary chaos and i feel like also they're doing this because they feel stagnant in a situation it's like they want for a movement to the next level but they it's like they're but it's almost giving like they need to know of what level of support or what level of love that the other person is giving or feeling and instead of them communicating properly or asking that person directly they're creating false narratives thank you spirit which is causing something to be unrequited or someone feeling reluctant to want to move forward with them. Thank you. Yeah, the sun. Yeah, it's being illuminated. Leo energy could be dealing with the Leo. It's like somebody was enlightened about someone's, you know, true uh, feelings as well. Page of Swords, yeah. Someone, yes, exactly. Thank you, Spirit. Someone was really... Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Because of someone's curiosity, okay? Someone was curious, okay? And there and there could be multiple energies, take it out, resonates, where, you know, someone... Someone was trying to be witty about how they went about... Um, finding out a truth about someone or whatever. But the way they went about it was just not the right way. Do you get what I'm saying? Like someone is really curious about another person in this situation, right? And maybe you, and maybe it was innocent. Let's take it out because I'm getting multiple downloads. Let's say you ask someone a question about, you know, um you know, how they felt about situations or why they did a certain thing or whatever. And maybe they answered you, okay? They answered you, they gave you this, is that, and a third or whatever. But a person used a conversation against you in order, because what they were really trying to get out of the conversation didn't really pan out the way it was supposed to have pan out on their end, but they kind of flipped the roles on you. As if it were, as if you did something to them that was negative. Take it out, resonates. And it could have caused the argument. It's like somebody used a very deceptive tactic um, against you, okay? Um, when, and if you asked the question, it could have just been out of pure curiosity, but they made it something bigger, which caused the tower. They they took it in a negative sense versus for what it was for face value, if that made sense, okay? And they did that because the truth of the matter is they really wanted an answer out of you, but they flipped the roles and made it about you. Take it out, resonates. Yeah. High priestess energy, exactly. It's like you're you're intuitive, like you know this. It's like somebody was really going out of their way to cause you some type of mental agility, like mental distress, or uh, whatever, um, by trying to be clever in a way. And it it it, it I feel like it kind of backfired on this person, if that makes sense. The world. 
It's like you, it's like you're ready to close out a cycle. You and them flip the roles. It's like you're in your you're in your healing energy. You're in your you're in your power. You're in your spirit. Like you you spiritually graduated. Like you've you're you're in the 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 highest version of yourself at this moment, and it's very healing. And you are not interested in like people who go out of way to self-sabotage, maybe consciously or unconsciously, take it out, resonates. Um, connections where it's like um, causing arguments that weren't warranted in the first place, okay? Just because, I don't know if there was some type of disagreement or something, something is just, it's a discord here. There's some dis, there's this, yeah, Queen of Wands, a Leo Aries Sagittarius could have done this, or you, or somebody who's you know, this is a passionate person. Whoever this person is, you or them flip the roles. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like somebody is giving off some type of chaotic energy that wasn't warranted. Queen of Pentacles energy. judgment seven of cups three of swords yeah somebody is causing too many unnecessary illusions and it's causing this is what's causing heartbreak okay some type of upheaval or whatever and this is due to someone's past trauma okay it's like somebody can't get over their own grief or or past betrayals and what they're doing is they're projecting onto you, Collective, a bunch of different illusions when it comes to a situation. And, um, you know, um, and I'm also getting that someone could be expecting some type of judgment or whatever, um, or has, or has been, you know, looking for something to come in and it's not coming in for them. It's just not. I also get to like somebody is overthinking. Someone's judgment has them over it. Someone's way of thinking has them misplacing their judgment when it comes to you collective. Thank you, spirit. And it's causing their own heartbreak. Thank you. It's like somebody is highly misjudging another person is what I'm getting. Even though judgment is in the upright. Hold on. What is it? Eight of Cups, and it's and it's giving someone is like withdrawing from a situation because of this, because of someone's misjudgment of them. Mm. Why is this here? Judgment giving, yeah. When it comes to the Page of Cups. The magician. Somebody is manifesting something in reverse. The magician flipped in my hand in reverse. Somebody is manifesting a, a, a connection in in not in the right way. It's like they're not using the correct judgment. Okay. It's like somebody has wishful thinking. Um, you know, in a situ in a situation like of what something should be. And it's causing someone to walk away. Or withdraw from the situation. Mm. Seven of Pentacles. It's causing delays in, in forward movement. I'll tell you that. Someone's hard work could be paying off. But listen. I don't know why that I was called to say that one. But. What's the Seven of Pentacles spirit? Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like you guys could be focused on your money at this time. Um, you know, whatever seeds that you're planting, because you got the Queen of Pentacles. So a lot of feminine energy here. Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. It's like someone could be, you could be more focused on your uh, stability, your finances, 
you know, growing in that way. You've grown spiritually. It's showing here with the world card. It's like you're any our old cycles and things like that. And anything that doesn't align with your forward movement and where you are spiritually now, it's like it's like really unrequited. If it's not in alignment with you, you're not really interested in it in any capacity. And that's no tea, no shade for anybody. But what I'm saying is here is like, Somebody is like misjudging you when it comes to a, a page of cups situation. Um, it's like somebody could have their heads in a clouds for real, for real. And they're obsessively thinking about um, a relationship with you. And they're using tactics to mislead you um, and use something um, maybe that you say or whatever against you. Um, because of what they truly want. And it came out in the last, um, in the last spread, rewind the video. It's like somebody is just not being forthcoming about, it's like someone's holding all their cards to their chest, but they want you to be truthful or in a situation or not in a situation, in the situation, but they want you to be truthful in, uh, about how you feel about them, but they're holding their cards to their chest and they're manifesting you backwards. It's, it's, but it's also to control a situation. And so what they're doing is they're causing illusions. Now they're overwhelmed in the mess that they're causing. Thank you. And you could... They could... Be, oh my God. It's, it's a lot of um, distorted energy here. I'll tell you that much. It's a lot of distorted energy here. Because I'm I don't even know how to articulate this. It's so distorted. Um it's like at the in in some instances, somebody is somebody is curious about how you truly feel about them, but instead of them asking asking you that, they're creating um they're creating false narratives about your thought about what you think of them or what you want from them versus asking you what you, what you want. It's like this person isn't directly asking you what you want. So like I'm the type of person, like if I want to know something, I'm going to give you hardcore. I'm going to ask you directly, like, well, how do you feel about this or whatever, whatever. And it's because, yeah, it's, it's because I need answers or whatever, but I'm asking you directly. But this person won't ask you directly. In fact, they're very avoidant. Thank you, spirit. And because you asked, they're flipping things on you. And it's and it's and that's not the case. Mm. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like this person has slow moving energy. It's like they, they, they're moving, they're being strategic and slow about how they move towards you, but they're also holding their cards um, to their chest is what I'm getting here. Yeah. With the chariot here, it's like somebody has, exactly. It's like somebody has grown to be very disciplined in, in the way that they move and it's how, it's, it's how they, um, maintain their own power, right? Over situations with the chariot card here. Yep, page of pentacles. They'll give you just a little, right? I'm going to put the ten of pentacles in reverse or whatever. It's like somebody is, somebody is like, this is somebody who's younger than you possibly with the page of pentacles or whatever. It's like, but with the page of pentacles, so the ten of pentacles, it's like somebody isn't, as well off as you think actually they don't really have much to offer and that's why they're in this energy and that's exactly why they're moving slow and this is also why a, you are the queen of wands you're beautiful you're well off you're self-sufficient you could be a businesswoman you're very grounded you get what i'm saying all of these things you could be very successful giving jitters that's what queen of pentacles is very nurturing energy very down to earth you're a healer naturally it says it all on these cards i don't need these cards but this is the energy and somebody and you're moving in your own energy and somebody wants to be in your energy but the way that they're manifesting you in to it's almost like somebody wants you to want them the way they want you but they don't have they don't with the page of pentacles or the ten of pentacles they really don't have it like that if 
that not right now they could or they could be working towards that why is this energy here you could be entertaining this person you could this you know this could be somebody that you're cool with or whatever two of pentacles this person is juggling honest to be honest and this and this could why this person could be like wanting to self sabotage as well. So if something with and I and I know this with the with the uh, four of uh, cups here, it's just like bored, stagnant, regret, pessimism, like indifferent. You know, this person is like somebody is unhappy about a situation or how things are going in their life at this time. Okay, they could really be going through some financial distress unbeknownst to you. And they could be, listen, financial stress, don't play with me. They could be juggling um, their finances at this time and trying to balance things out. Um, you know, like they could have money coming in, but as soon as it comes in, it goes out. But I think a lot of people are going through that in, in some way. But for, for this particular person, it's just like they don't see you that way. They see you as the Queen of Wands, very beautiful, very you know, strong and vivacious and you got your shit together. You know what I'm saying? You, you got things going for yourself or whatever. And in this case, it's like, they want to be in your energy. They want it, but, and they, and they want to, they want to invest in you, right? They do or whatever. And they could be planning to invest in you, but things are coming in slow for them. Knight of Pentacles with the page of Pentacles, 10 of Pentacles in reverse, two of Pentacles in reverse. This person is like rubbing nickels together. And it's something in the energy is like kind of making this person um, distorted and, and they're creating fights with you unnecessarily. Uh, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. <laughs> it, it, you listen, Leo, uh, Sagittarius, I mean, not Sagittarius, Aries energy, uh, Virgo energy, the moon. Thank you. This person is holding a lot of hidden secrets and deceit or whatever. And they're causing deceptions due to their own insecurity. The, the, this is hidden knowledge. And I'm going to pull the hidden truth oracle out. I know this reading is going longer than what I anticipated. But it's like they're really well worth the read or the watch because someone is, yeah. <laughs> Seven of Swords. When they communicate to you, they're not being honest. They're not being honest. Sagittarian energy, seven of swords. You could be dealing with a Gemini. They have Gemini in your chart. Somebody's manipulating a situation. And when they communicate with you, and they're kind of coming off like, um, just like I said, it's like, it's like somebody, you could have got some type of fast communication from someone, but they're manipulating the conversation in the situation. Just like I've been saying, they've been using strategic strategies to manipulate um, a, a, a situation. Trickery. Thank you, spirit. It's like they're, they're using a situation against you because of their own insecurities. If you get what I'm saying, instead of this person asking you specifically, like, you know what, well, just to catch up, I just want to check your temperature. Like, where are we? And this was like, do you, you know, instead of them just straight out asking you if they, if you have feelings for them or uh, whatever, conversation could not even be about that. But they use, they bring, they like, they'll throw in a subject. And then you and then you start talking about that subject and then they use that against you. You'd be like, oh, well, um, when you was asking me this is that and the third, it's because um you're you, you uh, you're asking me that because you have feelings. No, I I'm I'm asking you questions because you brought up a subject matter and I was just curious to why you was saying what you were saying. We were just having a normal conversation. Um it's so funny because I just went through a situation like this. It's coming out in a reading. Mm. Well, the energy is the energy. Take it out. It resonates. But someone is not being honest. Knight of Swords. It's like somebody is not sure about taking this with action or whatever. And not wanting... Not, you get what I'm saying? Or maybe they're like retracting. Like, you, like they don't like... There's like they don't want to... Um, it's like this person isn't confident. Thank you. Because of this person's lack of confidence, they use 
deceitful ways and scheming ways to get information out of you, but they're manifesting in the reverse. The magician fell out in the reverse. They are. Five of Pentacles. And it's making, yeah, thank you. It's, it's giving now, it's like they're being left out in the cold or maybe they feel left out in the cold from you. Maybe it's almost as if this, you're not giving this person the attention um, that they need. This person could be going through some type of struggles at this time or some type of illness and somebody is deflecting on what a real issue is. And it's almost like, it's like almost like somebody is like trying to re rejecting you before they feel like you could reject them when you have you you don't care to reject them at all in any capacity like you're that's not where your mindset is so why are we talking about rejection if somebody is doing this out of their own insecurities because of something that they're going through it's like somebody is trying they do other things they do things like this to, to deflect from their, their actual truths. Thank you. Oof. I'm not going to take them because that was too many. With the moon card being here, somebody is being very deceptive. Yep. Five of cups. Yep. It's like behind the scenes, someone is very sad. And I also get the energy of somebody could be pretty angry. And they're, and it could be due to their past traumas. Like this person is used to being left out on the cold. So now as they're in this energy of not embracing new love or energy in any capacity, it's easier to leave anything and everyone out in the cold versus embrace it fully. Um... It, it has to be some, it's something, it's almost giving mental distress. I don't want to say this person is mental, but it's like somebody focuses on, it's like, so, it's like somebody has abandonment issues. So they abandon people in, in ways that they feel it be, before that this, they could abandon them. And this is due to someone's trauma. And I don't quite feel like this person really wants to abandon you. I feel like this person definitely wants to hold on to you in some way. But it's like someone denies their true feelings. It's almost a... Um, it's weird energy, to be honest. It's, it's like a... Um, It's like a mechanism. It's like a defense mechanism. Thank you, spirit. It's like a defense mechanism that this person has that they don't... I don't know if they know that they do it or it's like... What? Why is this energy here? Six of Wands. It's, yeah, it's like they have to always be the one winning on top all the time. You get what I'm saying? It's like someone has to... Yeah, Six of Wands to the Ace of Cups page of wands it's like somebody somebody really does want this connection or whatever but they have to control it at the same time and it's giving very much immature energy um with the page of wands um six of wands ace of cups uh page of wands i feel like someone it, it's mm, it's really immature star in the reverse yeah when the truth of the matter is this person is going through some type of depression it's like there um it's like someone someone caused someone caused something to be unsuccessful based off of how they're moving when it was already a success thank you spirit Three of Wands. Yeah. Four of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of guarded energy here. Someone's possessiveness, fear of loss. It's like somebody is um, 
somebody somebody is someone's fear is like and they're holding on it's like you are someone's dream come true but at the same time this person goes through a lot of ups and downs when it comes to their overall happiness and they kind of control situations by rejecting people first um you know it's like, I also feel too, it's like somebody could have been patiently waiting to move towards you. They are holding on to you, but this person is like in the energy of not being all the way healed as well with the star card in the reverse because the star card is about healing in the upright as well. Somebody is feeling hopeful that they could, um, hopeless, excuse me, that they could actually have forward movement with you at this time. Yeah, I'm gonna just take these. Four of Wands, yep, the devil, the fool, yeah, with the Queen of Cups. It's like the truth of the matter is somebody is really obsessing of having forward movement with you. Maybe something was moving really slow and this person did something impulsive um, and, and, they, and it, they were hoping that you didn't see it, but you saw it. And if you said anything to this person, they it's like somebody could also feel foolish as well. Because you're very loyal. Queen of Cups, Energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy. You got have those in your chart. You could be that. And you're, you're very nurturing, loving. You're a healer. And you're very intuitive. And somebody definitely wants prosperity with you. Stability or whatever. Four of Wands. This is my 11-11 card. This could be uh, your 20 twin twin in this devil energy. It's like somebody is really being very manipulative on how they... Um, take this leap of faith forward to you, but it's all because they want to control a narrative or a situation due to their own security and uh, own insecurities. And what they're not telling you uh, with the moon card being here as well is that they are going through financial uh, distress at this time. Mm. Give me more. They really don't have it's like this person is breadcrumbing you seven of wands exactly and they're and they're being very resistant towards you. Yeah. You you know what I'm saying? This person's very defensive at this time. A lot of you know, you could be feeling under attack at this time by this person. King of Wands, don't play with me. They're very defensive. Leo Aries Sagittarius. I cannot make this shit up. You could be defensive towards this person or this person is defensive towards you. Um, okay, they're resisting at this time because of what they lack over here. And it's not just over there. It's with their overall emotions. This person could suffer from depression. Um, high key, queen of swords. Listen, yep, because you're asking truth. Nine of cups about, you know, you know, when it comes to your prosperity, your abundance, you know, um, you know, you could be a queen of swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. You could be, you're definitely this person's wish of fulfillment, queen of swords, give me more, ace of swords, and you're getting truth and clarity. You, you could be the one that's asking this king of wands very um, tough questions and they're very defensive with the seven of wands and they um, they actually feel under attack by you uh, because you're you're looking for mental clarity you're look for you're looking for breakthroughs you're you're overcoming limitations because, and you want truth you know what i'm saying but this person can't give you that they can't even tell you that they're going through financial distress let alone tell you the truth about how they really feel uh in a situation i could tell you one thing i feel this person has a lot of love for you though Who's this king of wands? Mm. Hangman. Somebody who's been stuck in stagnant energy. This person, yep. Empress is in the reverse. She's in the reverse. Why is she in the reverse? Why is the Empress in the reverse? Why is this Libra Taurus Empress in the reverse? Justice. That's her karmic justice. To, it's like mm, it's to be fair six of swords to move the karma waters king of cups from a king of cups who are, yeah knight of cups she's too strong 
And, and, and it's like, this King of Wands could want equal give and take, Knight of Cups, because he's coming in as a Knight of Cups. He's coming in as the King of Cups, but he can't keep it 100 with her. Somebody is holding their cards to their hands, Hierophant on the bottom of the deck. Four of Swords. But something is being laid to rest. The Spirit could have stepped in. It was just like, until you can be honest and 100% truthful with this Empress, she will, be re she will remain in the reverse. Libra energy, yeah, she's in the reverse. She's moving. She's she's not looking this king at this king of wands anymore. He can't be honest in situations. Two of swords. That's the decision. Somebody standing in their power. King of swords energy. Two of wands and having forward movement. Yeah, and there's third party interference here with the five of wands. Okay. This is gonna be a, a rather long read, so I'm just accepting it for what it is. But I'm I'm gonna give you guys the answers you're looking for. And by golly, listen, it does resonate. Um, it does. It resonates. Cause somebody somebody is not somebody is not standing in their truth it's like somebody wants you to be truthful but they're not being truthful they're not being honest it's like so it's like this person um i also look at the energy of they they give vague if you ask this person questions they give vague answers as well or they give very limited answers that's because when you ask card questions to whoever this energy king of wands energy king of cups energy take it out resonate whoever this king is emperor is you know they all came out overall in the reading um it it's like you're getting too close to their truth thank you spirit and that's when now you're a problem that's why that you're a problem now and and they take that as you causing them that you're causing the, it's almost like they're giving um the energy of it's like that victim mentality. It's like you're doing something to them. It's just like, no, I'm just asking you for complete honesty. The same honesty you're asking for me, I'm asking from you. You could be honestly being completely honest with this person, but this part, this person is giving you half truths, if the truth at all. Mm. That's unfortunate. And that's what's causing um you guys not to be on the same playing field right now if you will <sighs> okay well you know once i pull the intuitive deck baby it's it is what it is honey child it's gonna be what it's gonna be and auntie can't listen i can't um i can't change what it's gonna be so we about to get into it <laughs> Oh, where's my other? Yeah. Hold on, babies. Oh, I see nails be getting stuck in these cards. Because I have 3D on uh, the 3D. Uh, Y'all see my little 3D nails, right? Yeah, it's like, it sits on top of the nail. So it gets like a little stuck sometimes. So bear with me, y'all. Bear with me because I'm about to get into this intuitive deck. And yeah, and once the intuitive deck get the telling on y'all, Everything I'm saying will be confirmed. I'm so sure. So, um, um, let's let's pull from this deck. Yeah, cause somebody, it's like you're getting too close to someone's energy when it comes to truths being spoken. And when you, anytime you get too close to the truth with this person, um, they don't like that because they can no longer control the narrative. Um, oh, I'm too sorry. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm eating the crunch in her eyes, y'all. <laughs> mm. Somebody really don't like that. Um, they're looking at it. You asking questions as you're doing something wrong. When you're just looking for understanding and clarity. You guys could um, be disagreeing on this because of someone's, the secrets, this person holds a lot of secrets. They're not forthcoming with a lot of shit. They want to know your truths, but they want to hold their truths to their chest. 
mm, bad energy to be in and you can't have forward movement with anybody in any capacity being in that energy um you know you have to somebody in this energy needs to exercise compromise all right the empress popped her head out she's back again was why is the emperor oh that's a lot i'm just not gonna pull all those because that was a lot why is the empress here this is your twin flame. I Yeah, absolutely it is. And the four of wands came out a couple of times in the reading. Argue with your mother, never with me. This is why I do the intuitive week. You're about to receive unexpected news. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already, what's the unexpected news, spirit? Let's get into it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They intentionally betraying you betrayed you and now fear fearing the worst they did so like i said somebody uh, uh, intentionally betrayed you sabotaged uh, take a screenshot because i'm shuffling in your face empress this is your twin flame and you're about to ex receive unexpected news and they intent that they intentionally betrayed you and now they're fearing the worst and this is why they're trying to cause some type of upheaval in the connection and they think that you're not going to find out. The spirit will, will always let you find out, okay? Yeah, it says, you'll have a lifetime of love and happiness and financial wealth and abundance. Ooh, that could be the unexpected news. Falling right under the empress. You are deserving of everything you wish for. Mm, it's over. Time's up. And this, and yeah. And again, rewind the video. The empress turned her back. She was in reverse because she's, and, and then if you go way back to the beginning of the reading, she, you know, the card afterwards was the four of wands was in reverse. She completely turned her back on the twin flame situation because this twin flame is, is, is intentionally betrayed this, this empress. And now they're fearing the worst about what she knows, what she's going to find out or whatever. So now <laughs> they're moving in a way that's just very telling on themselves. They don't even realize they're doing this. It's like you're, they're so busy trying to cover up the truth that they're they're sabotaging everything that's been rebuilt beautifully. Damn. Thank you, Spirit. Ace of Cups. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, it's time's up when it comes to this love. This Empress is about to move in a different direction uh, is what I'm energetically feeling. They can't let you go. They don't want to let you go. I said that from the beginning. Yeah. They don't want to let you go. You probably don't. If this is your person, you probably really don't want to let them go too. But they're forcing your hand because they can't be honest. Yes. Because they, they refer, they, they're they fearing rejection from you. So they're self-sabotaging by rejecting you in some way but they can't let you go it's weird this person can't let you go they fear rejection from you oh my god is this is a very um emotionally immature individual and I'm, I'm not trying to be mean or anything like that but it's due to this person's trauma and people go through this and this person has not overcome this this is something that this person is still fighting through and for some of them they don't even understand what it is afraid of losing you but failing to communicate and apologize and communicate is communicate and tell the truth yep mm. i can't i can't make it up unrequited love so they rather they rather say that this love is unrequited yeah afraid of losing you but failing to communicate the truth and apologize for the truth because they, they they're the ones who fear rejection but they and it's like if you ever have a conversation with someone and they're so adamant about rejecting you and i mean adamant about rejecting you and you're not even in the energy of any of that it's like okay um i didn't ask you for any of that so okay if that's not how you feel but they constantly, and if you, man, it's, mm, I'm, I mean, mm, that's the energy, air, evil eye. Yeah, you could be sending this person the evil eye, uh, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, or somebody sending you the evil eye, air sign. That, I feel like this person is low-key mad at you. 
or they feel like you have unrequited love for them. And I don't feel like that's the case. I feel like you have a lot of love for them. And have they moved correctly and just be honest about you versus using trickery and manipulative ways, and, but trying to project it off onto you as if that's what you're doing when you've always been honest about your feelings towards them. That's, that's, that's the part. And it's like, it's something within this person that it's like, somebody did them a doozy on them. Um, there's a lot of sexual tension between you two. Could very much well be. Mm. Your financial situation is being restored. So for you guys, collective Empress Energy, Empress, you're the main. Um, um, you're the you're the main focal point here. Libra towards the energy. You could be any one of these signs, or have you could just be an Empress in the in, you're in your Empress energy. Your financial situation is being restored. So you guys could again. So remember, I said you, you. This person is worried about if you have feelings for them, and and they don't have feelings for you, and just all this nonsense that you don't have no interest in because you're you're focused on your finances. You're you're restoring your finances at this time, and it is definitely being restored. And that's what your focus is on. You 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 not even worried about what this person is worried about, but. This person, because you're not having a regular conversation about it, and if you even happen to have any type of conversation or on a subject matter, this person is using that to their advantage, but in the wrong way. For focus on forgiveness, yeah, I feel like you always, Empress, you always forgive this person. You definitely love this person uh, uh, unconditionally. If this person is in their head, though overthinking situations yeah they uh they see they see you as emotionally stable and a healing energy exactly which is why this person wants to be in your energy in the first place but they fear rejection from you and so they go out of their way to constantly reject you and it's weird weird it's yeah come on this or these karmics black magic is being reversed spirit is on the scene yeah so with with this card, black magic, it's like they're manifesting you in the in the reverse, in the wrong way. Meaning they're going about doing something towards you in the wrong way. And it's being reversed back onto them. And this person is mad about it. Either them, third party energy could be here, check it out, resonates, evil eye. They're sending you the evil eye because what what they're trying to convey and express is not coming off the way it was intended to. Mm. You're getting everything you wish for, with or without this person. Highly attracted to you and your magnetic energy. Come on. Feeling defeated because you're not reaching out to them. Exactly. Argue with your mother. And I didn't know how to articulate this because the energy is so distorted. But the, but I did say it. You're you're not moving in a way that they think you should be moving in, but they're projecting that onto you or they're deflecting. They've been trying to deflect it back on you, but it keeps bouncing back to them because you're you're not even in the energy of that conversation. You understand what I'm saying? When it comes to you know all of this, and they're all they're and they don't even realize how telling they are on themselves. It's like you're so they, you know, they're they're trying to make something. It's like they're literally turning nothing into something, but it's all because they feel very defeated by you because you're not reaching out to them. You're not pawning over them. You're not, um, you, you aren't asking them for a relationship. You aren't asking them. You could have, you could be sexually attracted to this person, but being sexually attracted to this person and, um, making that your primary focus is not where an empress is. She, you're an empress. You're an empress. Empresses don't move like that. Uh, Queen of Wands in the reverse do, though, and you're not that. You're not that type of energy. You're sure within yourself. And anything that you want, you get. You can ask for it and you can get it. It's not, it's not, it's not nothing to you. So if you really wanted something, all you got to ask for the universe, the universe for it, and the universe will grant it. But what but what you're not doing is you're not asking them. You're not, this person, I also get the energy of this person is used to people um, pawning over them or um, wanting to always 
be in their energy and wanting sex from them and this is that and the third and you don't come at this person like that that's literally making this person feel defeated by you it's almost like a uh ego it's, it's like a it's like a blow to their ego in some type of way mm. they feel very defeated of you defeated by you because you're not reaching out to them in that way it's it's bothering this person and that's why you guys are in this energy caught in the crossfire you <laughs> empress you caught in the cross, crossfire is something that you didn't even ask for in the first place <laughs> take that how it resonates you didn't even ask for it and and somebody it's like somebody's <laughs> shooting you just catching strays you literally out the empress is out here catching strays for something that they didn't even ask for wow what is it water yeah, all because this person is extremely emotional over you Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. Yeah, thinking about their next move now. If you haven't heard from them, that's why. <laughs> yeah, they gambled you for a karmic who betrayed and used them. Now they sit up here mad because and defeated because you're not reaching out to them. What are you reaching out to? You are, the Empress, you're already emotionally stable and in healing energy. It's no need for you to reach out them for anything more it, if it, if it if it comes to that and and if that's what it is it's like it would just naturally happen you don't have to have a conversation about mm, this person is really into story energy coming to balance yeah you're coming coming into balance peace and harmony or this person wants to come into peace and balance with you but they already being weird why are you being weird to me refusing to communicate to uh, to avoid telling you the truth I've been saying that the whole reading. This person is deceiving themselves, self sabotage, deceiving seven of swords energy. Hold on, I gotta turn my air on, child. It's, you're definitely dealing with somebody with fire in part, possibly. Yeah, seven of swords energy. Yeah, they're definitely dealing with somebody with fire in their part, possibly. Because that's how heated it's getting. <laughs> yes, yeah, zoom into these cards, okay? Mm. This person is refusing. I told you they're holding their cards to their chest. They're refusing to communicate the truth to you because they, they know if they... This is why this person is so bothered by you asking questions. They they feel like they don't they you asking too many questions and that's a that's a problem for them. Uh, <laughs> but you're just asking just asking general questions bored yeah bored with this offer they could be bored with your offer because you're not <laughs> you're not coming towards them the way they want to they feel defeated because you're not reaching out to them this this person wants you to pine over this person it's almost giving me the energy of not almost it's like this person really wants you to chase them but they're not saying that they'll never say that they'll never admit to that Mm. Very one-sided energy here. Drowning in their own emotions. But they're projecting it onto you. And you're not even in that energy. Feeling empty. Mm -hmm. They do. They feel very empty. You leveled up and blocked all of the negative energy. They can't believe this. It's just like... They, uh, in, in some aspects, this person feels blocked by you. You could be in communication. I feel like this, I don't feel like this is not a non-communication uh, scenario. So if you guys are not in communication with your person, this could be partial of this, but this is someone that you're in close communication with, but you're blocking their negative energy. And this just shaking the room for this person. They're drowning their own emotions. This is someone. And with the sun card, remember the sun's the sun, not the sun card, the star card fell in reverse. That's a sign of someone who's depressed or sad, they're not getting their wishes and, and, and hopes or whatever, but they're projecting that onto you. And when that's not what you ask for, and they think because you don't ask for it, that that's not what you want. It's not that you don't want it. It's just that that's not, and it's not that it's not even a priority for you. But in this case, you that's not your main focus. 
especially with this person or whatever it's it's giving like with the empress energy if you're gonna come towards the empress you gotta come correct and just be honest she the empress responds to complete and utter honesty but this person does not want to be vulnerable and, and any little bit of uh that what they share they consider that as them being full transparent and vulnerable and that and that's far from the truth. This person is not giving you their their 100 and their all. But they want it from you. It's just weird energy. But then they say they don't want it. It's it's dumb. It's really dumb. It's very immature. And this is why the Empress on the last um, spread fell in the reverse. Yeah, this cycle is closing out. And because of that, you're getting new money, uh, love opportunities coming in. The damage is irreversible. Yeah, because... I mean, for a lot of you guys, it's just irreversible. It's like what's done is done. You get what I'm saying? It's like either you're going to move forward or you are you just going to go into a new cycle with someone else. This, this one monkey don't stop no show. Just because someone can't articulate their emotions to you and it's not that you don't empathize with that but you don't you also don't resonate with that you're in empress energy a lot of you've already graduated to your next level in jumanji as the empress <laughs> and with that being said it's like somebody has to accept the fact that they're causing more damage than good just by even coming at you in this energy you get what i'm saying um but someone i you ever get so like you talk to someone and they are articulate in a way like they're the higher power in a situation when in the truth of the matter they're trying to match your empress energy thank you they are they're, they're, you could use all the fanciest words in the world um but that it don't change the energy Do you get what i'm saying it don't it don't change the energy mm yeah, this is somebody who's very cocky as fucking overrating themselves. And the fact that you're not overrating them, okay? The fact that you're not reaching out to them is causing them to feel empty. And they're really going through some type of ego clash at this time. This is somebody who's really cocky in their own right. And they get in their own way with their mindset. But for some of them, they can't see that, right? You're spiritually being protected by the divine, the divine which is why you have no desire to even have a conversation with this person about the energy that's being put out because that's not the energy that you're on. You get what I'm saying? Like you're, and it's like someone wants to, someone wants to take what you feel and say as a non-truth when in actually it's the truth. What is it? Setting boundaries and protecting your energy at all costs. And somebody is trying to make it like, well, they're protecting their... No, they're trying to mirror you. This is... <laughs> they're trying to mirror this emperor who's protecting her own body. It's like... I. Somebody wants you in mental confusion. Need, yeah, because this is someone who actually needs reassurance from you. But instead of... Them, you could need reassurance from this person. Or you maybe you asked this person for reassurance. But they took something and just ran it to the ground but i feel like this person is needing reassurance from you it's like this it's almost giving like this person wants you really to be falling all over them and you're not you actually let this person be your yeah divine partnership this person could want a divine partnership or is this, this a divine partnership or it's meant to be a divine partnership but it can't be a divine partnership because this person is too busy wanting you to suffer for their wrong do doings and misfortune and they're really in very jealous energy when it comes to you Ooh, i told you this was a distorted energy this it could be third party energy, but this is person. They I told you it was outside interference. They allow outside interference to break up your connection and they're still doing it. Listen, they're still doing it. This is why, like out of nowhere, like this person you feel rejected by this person always is because this person is fearing rejection from you. So it's like, well. Why are you constantly rejecting me for something I'm not even asking you for in the first place? What? Yeah, curse from previous lifetimes. Uh, uh, curse from a previous lifetime for their misdoings. Yeah. 
this is why the energy is this way and this is why they stay in this type of energy with not just you don't take it personal uh empresses um, boo boo's uh, collective listen this 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 person got some deep rooted shit that they and they don't understand it and they don't understand it it's because it's following them every lifetime this this person stays in distorted energy and they don't and for some of them they really don't understand why it's because they a lot you know this resonate take what resonate down but the, some of them they're the cursed from a previous lifetime this person constantly does this this person is obsessed with your loving energy and can, can't escape you and they're mentally haunted it's not, it's like it's given the energy of I'm going to just say it, and I don't care who's watching. Just take it out, resonate. It's like, cross watcher, you're welcome here. But mm. it's giving the energy of, like it says, obsessed with your loving energy and can't escape you mentally. And, and they're mentally, this person is mentally haunted. They're constantly rejecting you, but they want to be near you. If like, if you really don't have feelings for a person, let's say that so it's like I don't have feelings for you, and you got feelings for me, and this is that and a third. Mm, if 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 you don't have feelings for that person, and you feel that they have feelings for you, but you're reject, you're constantly rejecting them, but you want to be in their energy, you want them around, and if it's annoying to you, for real, for real. You wouldn't want nothing to do with this person in any capacity. Somebody don't, it's like somebody don't hear themselves when they speak. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like somebody really don't hear themselves when they freaking speak. This person is really obsessed with your loving energy. You're a healer. You're a natural nurturer. You're caring. You care for this person. You show this person genuine love. Genuine love. Not sexual love. Not all the... You trying to suck on them. and You're not doing any of that. It's just, just your natural aura is very healing. It's a safe space for this person. This person don't want you to know that they're truly obsessed with your loving energy. But they're constantly rejecting you. But... They want to be around you. They love this. It's, it's just weird. And instead, and it's part of this person is keeping that part close to their chest. This like, they don't want you to know how much they love you in this capacity. They don't. And, but it's like the mask is falling off. They're being seen. Now it's the upheaval. They're causing upheaval. They're, they're, they're subconsciously causing or mid- purposely or subconsciously causing upheavals because they're they feel exposed by you mm. i'm telling y'all the energy yeah leaving the past behind they they could want to leave the past behind or you what's what's leaving the past behind spirit drop them yeah they see you absolutely gorgeous inside and out oh come on loud battery close sorry my, my phone is about to die. I got to go get the charger. Uh, somebody says you absolutely gorgeous inside and out. The main male. The emperor. And they want to take a leap of faith and move towards you. But they, it's like, they don't want to be seen when they do it. <laughs> it's so silly and insane how this person's energy is working. Hold on, y'all. Who's that? I think it's charging. Lord, please let it be charging. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they want to take the sleep of faith. This person don't want you out of their life, but they don't want you to feel like they have any type of true romantic feelings for you. When energetically, I'm sorry, they do. This person could be deeply in love with you and they just don't. And the, the closer you get to you asking too many goddamn gone questions, baby, that's irritating they so dealing with drama behind the scenes with the karmic and this could be why they're trying to reject you or put it in, in writing that they're rejecting you it's a facade it's not the truth they king of cups yeah this that piping height tea yeah the tea is okay they king of cups 
baby this person has deep emotions for you okay but they're dealing with a karmic behind the scenes it's like shit seems real complicated in this connection yeah emotionally manipulative and controlling Thank you, but this person don't, they, they, when you say that to them, no, I'm not, that's not me, that's you. No, no it's very much you because you, you can't, you can't, you can't control your karmic. You can't, you can't, you can't control this third party interference here. See, <laughs> third party interference, rewind the video. Okay. They can't, yeah, they, they gambled you for a karmic who used and betrayed them. See what I'm saying? And, and, <laughs> and listen, they can't, they can't control, they can't control a situation. It's like they're losing their grip on the situation. You're getting too close to the truth. They got to cause a upheaval. Soulmate love. Yeah. You could love this person on a soulmate level. That's what soulmate love is. And that's unconditional love. That's, that's just... It'll never stop growing. You'll always love this person. Good, bad, right, wrong, or indifferent. Yeah. What is it? Karma is whooping they ass. Mm. You know I say, ain't nothing worse than a spiritual ass whooping. Yeah. F your feelings, pay me. Ooh, somebody said, you gotta pay me. Ace of, yeah, ace of swords. It's the truth. That's the truth and clarity. Mm -hmm. King of swords. Air sign, leave your mind curious to be y'all. Them slow moving energy, yeah. The energy around you guys could be slow moving at, overall, and this is why you got listen. And you guys got people in your energy. If this is not your person being there in their devil energy, and they're still sending you the evil eye because they feel like you're moving too slow, and they're and they're and they're causing a shake up or whatever. This person wants you to love them as much as you. They love you. Here's, but, but the gag is, you probably always have. But they're so fixated on their way of controlling the situation, they can't get out of their own way. This person is very... I feel like you're dealing with someone who's very clever as well. Yeah, their lies caught up to them and now they're facing judgment. Yeah. The truth about how they really feel about you. They're thinking about me. Thank you. They're thinking this is the lies. Their lies caught up with them and now they're under judgment because the truth of the matter is they're thinking about marriage and having a family with you and longevity, creating, creating more opportunities. You could be out here creating more opportunities for yourself, but this is what's on their brain. Or they want to create op more opportunities for you both. I feel like this person could have gone out of their way to create um, more opportunities for growth and everything so that you guys got have a loving union together in some capacity but there's a third party in the energy that's causing drama i'm telling you they're not telling you this and that's the betrayal and the deception and they're deflecting on you when the truth of the matter is yeah this is the charge yeah there's challenges and obstacles causing delays thank you there is this betrayal it's like this person is self-deceiving self self-sagging it's like they won't control Whoever this third party energy is, they're not, they don't have them in check. And this is the problem. The world. Yeah. And so you you guys are closing out a cycle. You like, well, if you can't control the situation, you can't be honest and truthful on your end. And you can't show all your cards. What the fuck I look like. Your new lover will be your forever love. Thank you. Y'all moving on. You closing the cycle. You moving on to a new lover. That's it. They're madly in love with you. And they can't handle it. They can't handle it. This shit is so overwhelming for whoever your person is. Don't play with me. Ace of Cups is on the bottom of the deck. All I've been doing is shuffling in y'all face collective. Thank you. You're healing. You're very understanding to all situations. You show this person. And you always reassure this person that you understand it. If this person, you know, needs time to themselves, if they go away, all of these things, you show understanding. You give them healing energy. This is what's making this person madly in love with you. And it's almost driving them insane. But they rather deny the connection. and die. I don't even think they're denying the connection. They're denying the love of that they know that they want with you because they can't control a third party situation a third party could be anything but i promise you with god's love it has something to do with family 
or so or 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 a effed up karmic that they got themselves involved in and the shit is complicated yep they're not being honest spirit is working hard behind the scenes on your behalf stay calm collective yeah unfavorable and highly undesirable don't fucking play with me. I told you it could be family, friends, or fake, the fake ass lover that they, this karmic they've been dealing with. Yeah, this is, yeah, they find you to be unfavorable. They, they find you to be unfavorable and they're definitely unfavorable because they're fake as fuck. This is why your person is rejecting you. Fighting for this love and fighting off competition. But this person is in a lot of devil energy, mental conflict, um, negative ways of thinking, outdated ways of thinking, stuck it, stuck ways of thinking. This person is um, keeping themselves stuck in energy and they're projecting that on you. I failed you and I haven't forgiven myself. They failed you by not being honest and, and, and getting this third party in check. Whatever it is. And they're kind of controllably about losing you. Yeah, because Empress, Libra, Taurus energy, whoever you are, you're walking away. And that's the ego death. This person has to go. This person hasn't yet to go through a complete ego death. They're about to now. But you're walking away. Because they can't give you fucking honest communication. You're releasing what no, long, no, what no longer serves you for your highest good. And this person, this, you want honest communication. And you, and you're, and you you try so many times to be honest that you're be, you're very straightforward you're very forthcoming but this person is not and when you ask them too many questions it disturbs their peace they don't want you they want you to cease the questions they want you to 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 not engage in personal questions when it comes to anything that deals with love um relationships um how you're feeling um, what's your, you know, what's your long term, what's your end goal here? Yeah. So, yeah, come on, Queen of Cups. Yeah, very much runner versus chaser. That's twin flame energy. Twin flame came out, definitely did say this is your twin flame. And that's what happens in a twin flame connection. Runner versus chaser. You're not chasing them. And you're not running after them either. <laughs> let's, get, let's get into it. Yeah, sleeping alone thinking of you. And they're always led by their sexual desires and lack of morals. I told you he was dealing with a fucking fire sign. I, I had to turn the fucking air on it, guys, so God dang all hot up in here. Fire sign, seeking spiritual advice and guidance at this time. That's why they're taking their time to even fucking respond to you. You Listen, what you're not going to do, I keep telling people, you can't manipulate the energy. Energy don't lie, people do. And if you voiced yourself and you've communicated exactly what it is that you're trying to communicate with this person and they're using it against you, it's because what they're hiding. It's not because, oh, you got feelings for them and everything like that. You already expressed how much you love them. It's not about that. It's about them being honest as well. And they're not doing it. Revolution, revelations and truths are being told at this time, missing out on blessings due to their own fucking stubbornness. This person won't change. They're so stuck in their boundaries or creating these boundaries or whatever, and, they're, and they don't realize how stuck they really are keeping themselves. It's, 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 they've created a boundary of this idea of who they are and who they should be and it's keeping them stuck. They can't even see it. Unresolved issues. This isn't over. This person's not letting you go. They played, yeah, thank you. They play dirty tricks, uh, tr tricks and games and, and try to one-up you and it's backfiring on them because you don't give a damn. You don't. You'd rather not even have a, like, you, you have no desire to even have a conversation with this person and they thought you had, they figured out they thought you had they thought they had you figured out and now the tables is turning on them. Thank you spirit. Magician a romantic uh relation partnership is on the horizon and most likely it may not be with them. You are going into your bag babies. Yeah, false prophet not of the light and, and giving false advice on purpose. Somebody has not been telling the truth. Whether they receive uh, information from a false prophet or whatever, somebody is in their ear that's uh, um, also steering their um, their, de their decision making. And now this person is hating themselves for betraying you. Hmm. 
king of wands i'm gonna leave it here Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, are you with your mother, not with me? I've been saying it's been a fire sign this whole time. They came out. The truth of the matter is they really want to spoil you rotten. So why they somebody wants to invest in you, but they can't invest in you because they can't they can't they can't control a third party and they're are they're refusing. And it's due to their own fears. This person is so intimidated by you and the energy that you have. They are madly in love with you and they're deceiving themselves. Mm. like share subscribe um love bugs to real love channel uh tarot if this uh channel is resonating with you and the situation which you could be going through at this time um it's up to you you got free will on how you want to move forward with this person but i'll tell you one thing don't move forward in confusion and chaos if this person can't um resonate um reconcile with themselves they'll never be able to fully reconcile with you in the way that they need to okay in order to bring forward movement and what they truly want in their heart's desires um if somebody is um going over and beyond to fight off um uh, feelings for you due to a third party or just their own self-imposed third party could be their own self-imposed um belief system as well that has absolutely nothing to do with you. Be with somebody that you don't have to go through this rigmarole with. Okay? It's it's quite um draining. And this <laughs> this person this person don't let don't let nobody uh project their their negative energy that you that you didn't even initiate with them onto you. Like if especially if you're not asking this person, you if you're asking it's one thing to ask a person if you're asking a person what they want or whatever out of curiosity, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're not directly asking a person for a relationship, because empresses move directly, okay? You're just if you're trying to get to know a person or just trying to get a feel for like, you know, what it is that you know they want out of life, it's it's just a normal conversation. But if a person can't even, if they find that you having a normal conversation with them about their dreams and aspirations and things like that, and they find that to be troublesome or uh, burdensome to them, and they think that you want a relationship with them, they're very delusional because nothing of the sort should create that. You know, it's, it's called com clear and concise communication. And if you have a problem with having clear and concise communication with someone, even if they're like, oh, um, I've told you several times I don't want a relationship with that. If, and you never ask them for a relationship or for sex, but they keep saying that. That's a red flag. This person is projecting their shit onto you. And that's something to be looked at. Okay. It's something to be looked at and little, very much steady. So um, take what resonates, leave the rest. Cross watch if you watch watching and you're and you're in your feelings about this reading, then probably you shouldn't you shouldn't be here. Or you need to self-reflect. Thank you guys for tuning in. I catch you guys on the next one. Bye, love bugs.